The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. 646 this morning. Happy Friday. If April showers bring May flowers, then we're seeing plenty of those. Check it out. Thanks to Jordan out of Roanoke for a really pretty shot for today's picture of the day. Those always can be sent to us through pin it on our weather app. Now we've got some more May showers. Those are going to be isolated after 3 p.m. today coming in from southwest to northeast. But you can watch what happens as different atmospheric boundaries come into the area. They help the air rise a little bit more. So you see periods of showers developing tomorrow. I think the most widespread stuff we see is going to happen during the evening as you can see that series of fronts nearby. But, but before that, you still have some scattered activity pushing through. Widespread rain will start to move off toward the east by Sunday morning. Behind that, we see scattered afternoon storms. All right, today, temperatures in the 80s. Tomorrow, 20 to 25 degrees cooler in Lynchburg, 70s for Cinco de Mayo. Friday in the Highlands, 80s. 20 degrees cooler again tomorrow with periods of rain, scattered storms in 70s on Sunday. Similar trend for south side, 87 today, barely in the 70s tomorrow in the 70s with scattered storms on Sunday. So it is kind of tricky to plan for this upcoming weekend just because our showers come in waves. Make sure you're staying connected with our text and video updates that we send on our free weather app. Now looking ahead to next week, yes, yeah, so this weekend temperatures take a little bit of a backseat, but we're right back at it again. Highs in the 80s Tuesday through Thursday, but there's a catch. This is going to be a very summer like pattern here. You've got the heat, but that southwesterly breeze is also going to bring in the moisture that's necessary for afternoon storms. So when I show you the extended forecast here in just about two seconds, you're going to notice next week's forecast looks awfully a lot like early to mid July. And here's why you see the 70s and the 80s. The temperatures right the overnight lows 60 to 65. That's a sign of the humidity that's in place so that translates to the scattered storm chances that you see pretty much each day next week. For the Roanoke Valley, we're in the 80s today, but only the 60s tomorrow. Again, showers tomorrow morning look to be scattered. They turn more widespread tomorrow evening, tomorrow night into Sunday morning, and then they're scattered once again Sunday afternoon. Scattered is going to be like the most annoying word of the forecast next week because we're going to say it every day. High temperatures in the 80s with scattered storms and overnight lows dropping into the 60s. So the AC getting a little bit of a workout once again heading into the upcoming week.